Honey, Valentine's Day is here and I got five of what I would like to say are my most sweet, delicious, sexy, beautiful fragrances that I think you need to have in your stash for this Valentine's Day. Let's talk about it. And if you're wondering, this two-piece and the hair will be linked below. I'll also link my soft glam makeup tutorial in case you wanna do a soft glam look for Valentine's Day. First fragrance, I feel like a lot of you already might have, but if you don't, let's talk about it, is the Burberry Her Elixir Eau de Parfum Intense. I have both the EDP and then this Elixir, both so stinking good. If I had to choose, I would say go directly for the Elixir. It is strong, it is delicious, it is sweet. Oh my God, there's a like, I just don't know how to explain. This is so stinking good. It's a warm floral, it has dark red berries, jasmine, and vanilla. God, this is so stinking good. I have one in the bathroom and I have one here in the studio. So if I'm just passing by and I feel like touching up with something sweet and delicious, I will certainly use this. I love using this at nighttime too, even to go to bed, because who's not wearing fragrance to bed? Comment below and let me know, hopefully you are. But I love wearing this to bed too, because it just smells delicious, like dessert while you're in the bed sleeping. So just imagine what this will smell like on date night, on Valentine's Day, which a man, like, come on, talk about it. This is delicious, hands down. Just a must. If I had to choose one, it might be this one, but I'm a little bit torn because I love all five of these. But if we're talking absolute sweetness, deliciousness, age appropriate for all ages, honestly, playful, fun, warm, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. If you already have this, comment and let me know. Another sweet and delicious option for Valentine's Day, and really just any date night, but we're talking about Valentine's Day here. These are all beautifully shaded in pink, which just makes me so happy. Like, who doesn't, right? Is this Gucci Flora Gorgeous gardenia. This is a fruity floral. The keynotes are pear, white gardenia, and brown sugar. This one is more fresh than the Burberry Her Elixir. Both sweet. This one is fruity, delicious. I don't have a scent on today. Well, I don't have one on my skin. I sprayed my clothes today. And you know when you're spraying, spray the clothes and the, the skin. You know that, right? Hopefully you knew this. Comment below and let me know if you didn't. But let's do the skin and the clothes, okay? This one is so delicious. I love the way it sprays out. It, it makes me, it honestly, like I said in a recent campaign, it reminds me of sparkling champagne. It's it's sweet, it's delicious. It's more on the fresh side, I would say, more than the Burberry Her Elixir. This one is more fresh, sparkling wine, delicious, expensive. It smells expensive, but it's not It's not that expensive, you know? All links are below, FYI. Oh, this is just so good. So this is definitely my second recommendation, Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. Honey chow, another one that is just luxurious, sexy, rich, all the things is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I recently have gotten on the Chanel train very, very, concise spritzer, love that. And I like this a lot. I almost added number five, but I said, hold on. That's not really gonna flow with the with the setup today. I love number five, okay? It's very elegant and, and grown and sexy. We're not gonna go there right now, but I feel like Coco Mademoiselle is more palatable. Definitely still screams sexy, elegant, mature, okay? So if you're wanting something more safe, I feel like the first two are safe, sweet, delicious, beautiful. This, we're going into grown and sexy, okay? Still love this. It's still feels fresh champagne when I say fresh I mean like more champagne I don't mean clean accord like you just showered fresh I'm just saying it, it's it's like airy you know it's just so sexy and elegant and mature and delicious now Coco Mademoiselle is an eau de parfum this is a warm floral it has notes of orange patchouli and Turkish rose I stinking love patchouli I have grown to love patchouli so it has the rose and the orange it's just sophisticated it's giving rich it's giving sexy, like I said, mature, just all of the opulent things, okay? If you have Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, I wanna know because I have grown to really, really like this for days when I just want to, I just want to feel rich, you know? I wouldn't wear Coco Mademoiselle in the bed. I would wear, like I said, one of the first two, but to go out on date night, any of these five would definitely be a great option. And this, like I said, is just more sexy and grown up. So if you have this one and love it, comment and let me know. Now, Another one that is in the grown and sexy and mature category is Lancome La Vie et Belle Soleil Cristal. This is a shocker for me and I can't even remember when I got this. It might have been in Duty Free when I smelled this in one of the countries as I was passing coming home. I don't know which one it was, but this one is again rich sexy, expensive. I wore this to go to lunch one day with my girlfriend and we were in a very rich area here in Houston. But look at this, oh my God. 
See, this is the rich and sexy but sweet, whereas Coco Mademoiselle just gives me rich and sexy, rich and opulent. This one is the same but sweet. It's got like a sugar to it. It just is so stinking good. The woman ran up to me to ask, what are you wearing? And I was like, oh, my outfit? She's like, no, your fragrance. It's carrying through. She got up and was like, I can smell it at my table. What do you have on? And I was like, wow, it's given like that? Okay, hold on a second. So that just goes to show that this is a game changer. This is a show stopper. This is a, excuse me, ma'am, what are you wearing type situation. So freaking good. Now there is a regular La Vie, a bell. And this one is Soleil Cristal, I have both. This one is my favorite of the two. The other one is nice too, but this one is definitely my favorite. Not only is the bottle just beautiful and iridescent, it just looks so sexy and just so girly, I just love it. So the notes, top notes are Mandarin oils, middle notes, white iris, lang lang essence, and bottom notes of Madagascan, bourbon, vanilla, and sunny coconut accord. This is a game changer. This is such a game changer. It's so sophisticated, it's just so sexy. I love this so much, if you like to smell grown sexy about your business that's definitely it if i were to piece these two together it's giving grown and sexy but grown and sexy and sweet okay love 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 i mean there listen this is some good stuff okay and this last one was a shocker for me because i kept seeing it and i loved the way the bottle looked this is kaoli sweet diamond pink pepper and i thought that's got to be good only because of the way the bottle looks you feel me and then when i got it in pr and i think i ended up purchasing it too after that i was like wait wait hold on this is so sexy and spicy Okay, so I would not call this a, a good blind buy. I do think that you would need to smell this one first. There's something spicy about it and I like that. I like that. It reminds me of Tom Ford Rose Prick. This is so stinking good. It's a warm floral. It has pink pepper in it, Bulgarian rose and sandalwood. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's delicious, it's feminine, it smells rich, it's daring. Honestly, the, the pepper in this is very daring. I wear this when I know that I'm dressed to the nines, which is really usually all the time. Okay, I'm dressed to the nines and I know that my fragrance is gonna make some people say, ooh, ooh, you know, it's not a easily palatable fragrance like the Gucci Flora and the Burberry Her. You know, they're sweet, they're fun, they're playful. This is more like, honey, we mean business. We are grown and sexy. We love a challenge. We're not afraid to stand out. We're not afraid to get questions on our fragrance. We're not trying to fit in. We are one of a kind. You feel what I'm saying? That is what this one gives me and the bottle is just so stinking sexy i just love that okay i can't get over that all right those are my top five fragrances that i would choose from when thinking of a valentine's day scent for valentine's day evening for date night with you and bae you feel what i'm saying comment below and let me know if you have any others that you would add to the list or that you're considering like are you preparing your outfit your fragrance your hair like what you doing let me know i do have a haul coming up for some date night looks i don't know if that is already live or will go live we'll see it'll be on my channel of course all links are going to be below and i will see you in the next video bye